Lifeguards aren't authorised to put dislocations back in. All they can do is administer pain relief and call for backup. I've had more dislocated shoulders than I've had uh, hot breakfast. Just rest back there. Uh, back, back. Uh, Try. Uh, oh, my arm. Yeah. Oh, I can't, I just, can't move it. So he's, he's quite a wiry young fella. Yeah, he just needed a bit of pain relief straight away. Uh, leave him alone. Just cover the hole. Yeah. All right, and just breathe in. Nice deep breaths. In through the mouth, out through your nose. That's it. Good job, mate. It's on its way, buddy. It's on its way. It sucks. It really sucks. I feel sorry for anyone who does dislocate their shoulder. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's on its way, mate. Keep using this. It's scary. I know. I know, mate. I know. I know. Ah! Ah! Oh, my arm, breathe. Breathe. Hey, I know. Move. I know. Yeah, breathe. Uh. We're very limited to what we can do with the dislocation. We've just got to manage their pain and make sure they're comfortable. Breathe again. The green whistle contains methoxyfluorine. It's quick and effective pain relief, but can have other side effects. You've done well. <laughs> good dislocation. It was quite a good one. It's a real good one. You can see it. You can see it. <laughs> the green whistle worked its magic pretty quick on Dan. Yeah, he really enjoyed the green whistle. And he was quite little, so a few puffs into it and he was flying. Yeah, real happy drug for some. Well, we went down to Bogey, right? And we caught a bit of like waves and that, and like it was sweet. And then we went to the Shoreys. First wave I caught, I get barreled. And I just get dumped on my back and just oh, yeah. slam into my shoulder. The wave. <laughs> <laughs> Ambos are here, mate. They're just falling up. We've got Daniel here. He's 15. He's located with his right shoulder. Dude, this arm's blood pressure. Yeah, no, baby. This arm's more important. Yeah. Can you feel me touching here? Yeah. I love you, bro. Just so you yeah, know. Okay, no, I'm just on the phone. I actually appreciate you doing this for uh, It started telling us how much he loves us. It's always nice to hear, you know. Can't complain about that. Civil Rouse is sitting on the edge, um, in the seat, yeah, and I'll massage you a bit, and I'll pop back in nice and simple. Then it'll be done. Yep. Yeah. Happy? You gonna do it? Yeah. No? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, wait for our Corby. You take care of your arm. All right. Get up nice and tall. Shoulders back. Let's go. Thanks, Corby. Cool. Okay. Keep the whistle. Keep it in your mouth. Just keep. How about you put your hand down? I'll hold it for you. Done. Just stay there. Stay there. So he just needed that whistle, and that was his distraction because he just roll with it, and the shoulder will go back in. You need a hug after this, Barry. Please, just one hug. One arm. A full hug, yeah. not a whole arm. <laughs> this one has got to stay in the way. Please, bro. I love you. I love you, bro. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. But this arm's had action for hugging and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, well, for a couple of days. He was feeling the love. Shoulder was back in. He was happy. So yeah, he was fine, mate. Done well, Daniel. Did I cry? Nah, mate. You're no, right. Was good. Really? Tough as. Yeah, you're awesome. You know what? I'm mad, man. <laughs> I reckon you are, brother. Yeah. I love you. You're a legend, mate. I love you, bro. <laughs> Hit by a wave close to shore, a German tourist has dislocated her kneecap. <laughs> Daniela and Marcus have been travelling around Australia for three weeks without so much as a scratch. After one hour on Bondi, Daniela's luck has run out. When we got there, she was screaming in that much pain. It was probably one of the most painful dislocations of a knee that I've ever seen. A specialist intensive care paramedic is requested. Until then, lifeguard's priority is pain management. But that hurts and it looks so... No, nah, don't look at it. It's all right. Daniela's knee is a contortion of ligaments, bone and nerves. Travelling over bumpy sand in a buggy could be the most agonising 80 metres of her life. The green whistled up before we move her. An analgesic pain-killing gas is administered before the short journey. That in your mouth and just big breath in and it'll, it'll start relieving the pain. So real big breath. It'll get a bit of a tangy taste. OK, let's go, 
One, two, three, go. Mario Hoppen, I took a lot of extra care with that one. Should try to get her into the into the tower and nice and comfortable as quick as we could. Ordinarily, dislocations are treated in hospital. Fiona. Intensive care paramedic Fiona is trained to relocate joints in the field. Okay, sorry, darling, sorry. She needs help with the procedure. Wait, is there a lifeguard? Can I borrow someone, yeah. please? Thank you. That's it. Just relax as much as possible, and you need to give me your leg. OK, That's can someone... Awesome. Yep. Sorry. Intensive care paramedic Fiona nudges Daniela's kneecap around in search of the right angle. Ah! Big deep breath. OK, big deep breath. 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 Big deep breaths. All done, darling, all done. Set in there. Yeah. All done. All done. You're a legend. You're a legend. All done. Oh, my God. You OK? Hey. Yeah? Ball games are banned on Bondi for the risk that they pose to other beachgoers. The regulation is difficult to police, but sometimes games stop for other reasons. How are you for pain, mate? Is it a lot of... No, I said I can handle it. Lifeguards attend what at first appears to be a simple stubbed the, uh, toe. We'll just drive you straight to the tower. Bob is on a working holiday from Scotland. He arrived in Australia just a week ago. Playing soccer and just accidental. Kind of clashed, clashed bit with somebody else. OK, what kind of pain are you in here to 10? Oh, it's not so It's not so I can feel it. It's a good... I, I don't really want to... Uh, okay. This is unlike anything they've ever seen. It's a doozy, right? Um, it kick your toe that badly that the bones actually come through. Yeah. So that's why we need to go to hospital, mate. Lifeguards are amazed by the Scottish Braveheart. It's right, mate. Okay. The volleyball's at the question. In case the pain does kick in, lifeguards give Bob the green whistle. You're a tough man. I, I, if I looked at that, I'd cry if it was me. No, it's I kind of cried when it was you. <laughs> Imagine it was me. Yeah. I've never trials for Sydney FC because I've seen the quality of the football that obviously <laughs> I know. The side of Bob's toe has lifeguards rattled. Oh, no. I've had broken legs, everything like that, you know? The heavy, heavy gashes. Death. <laughs> that toe Death. is heavy. <laughs> Meanwhile, Maxie takes the opportunity to learn a new language. Teach me some of the accent. Maybe I could pull off. How are you doing, darling? Is it tonight? Huh? How are you, how are you doing, darling? What are you doing tonight? <laughs> are you doing that? What are you doing tonight? Uh, Does that sound right? No, nah, it's not doing that. It makes you tired. Bob's dream to play for Sydney FC is on hold. He'll require surgery to repair his fractured toe. On average, lifeguards deal with two to three dislocations per week. <laughs> Dislocated knees, elbows, shoulders, you name it. Uh, Bondi Central, South Rhino. We're going to bring up a dislocated shoulder, boys. Pain relief, OK, buddy? Shoulder surgery, and it's that shoulder that's <laughs> popped out. Yeah. yeah. We're going to give him some pain relief and then take him Maybe up in the tower. The green whistle contains a powerful analgesic gas, methoxyfluorine. It's almost like being intoxicated. So you get something on this? Just taking as big a breath as you okay. can. It kind of takes away the pain and creates a really funny outcome most of the time. Take it easy. You got me on the green stuff. Yeah. yeah. Real deal, baby. Wow. I knew instantly that that we had a serious character on our hands. Oh, oh man. Come on. Yeah. Oh, me keep up. sucking on the whistle, you'll be yeah, fine. Really. you got to start selling these things Christmas time. Oh, man. Okay, gang wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, brother. Thank you, brother. I'm feeling all right, mate. The green whistle's working. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I could rock and roll a bit more. In his spare time, Stewie is the front man of a local rock band. Keep rock and roll. Man. I've got a band, Thunderstorm, trying to rock and roll, thunderstorm, thunderstorm, 100%. Oh, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. 
Yeah. You want to play guitar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew there was going to be something, something strange and obscure that, that me and him were going to bond over. As soon as this shoulder gets popped back in. <laughs> and it didn't take much prodding to, to work out that that bond was music. Woo, she's painful. Yeah, she kicks in. You made a shoulder pop out? Oh. I reckon it's, it's worth it. Childbirth. The pain is... Paramedic Stacy is trained to assist with dislocated shoulders, like Stewie's. Hello. Has this happened and, before? Yeah, it's happened about 100 times before. So take a few good deep breaths of that. Won't move you until we need you nice and relaxed. Oh, shit. Take me back. Do you want to rest back? Yeah, oh, I need to rest back. Big breaths on that green whistle. Oh. Yeah, get yourself comfortable, okay? This is one shoulder that does not want to budge. Paramedic Stacy offers a second green whistle. There you go. Have a go at that. Have a look at this thing on your finger. Have they had problems in the past putting it back in? To yeah. The place? Yeah. After 10 or 15 minutes of attempts to try and put the shoulder back in, Stu is just getting in more and more pain. Okay. If paramedic Stacy can't put Stu's shoulder back in place, he's off to hospital for treatment and possibly another surgery. Have a few big breaths of this. You're gonna just let me take the weight of this one. Rest you back against the back of the chair. That's it. Pop your chest out. That's it. Oh, that was it. Felt just hold you just it. Don't move it for just a second. Oh, just oh I love you. You just took all that pain. That let me take this for a second. My work here is done. Stewie will undergo rehabilitation before he can get back on the guitar. Yeah, I'm just fired. See you later. See you, buddy. I don't reckon a, a shoulder injury could stop Stewie from strumming. Fucking, he's got a, got a bit of talent and he's hiding from the world. Just thinking to ourselves, how are we going to manage this situation? Uh, it's okay. The bone was coming out of the side of her leg. Is that better? Hedria's dislocated kneecap is putting painful pressure on tendons, cartilage, and nerves. So we need to get her on the green whistle straight away. This is going to help, all right? I want you to take a really big sort of deep breath on it, OK? Good girl. Her body was kind of a little bit twisted, and, and so we couldn't move her at all. Oh, no? um, uh, All right, all right. Mm. This is a specialist paramedic will try to put Andrea's kneecap back in place. Until then, Good girl. she faces a painful wait. What's your story? Where are you from? Uh, New York. New York? New Yorkers are tough, right? No. No? That's not what I hear. We're hard shells, soft inside. Ah, oh, right. You no, know, you've impressed me. You're pretty brave. It was like that literally on a first date but on Bondi Promenade with a dislocated knee. I'm no, asking all the wrong questions. You did work. Yeah, 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 I know. I've you been obviously a... don't talk to girl. Oh. Crash and burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. So we yeah, just... Let's... Singlet's powers of distraction are wearing off. How much longer? And after 20 minutes, so is the green whistle. The decision was made. Let's get a second green whistle going. All uh, right, give it a little... Uh, yeah, take. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Keep going with this. Just here. Paramedic Todd is an expert at relocating joints. And I'm going to just gently manipulate your knee. I mean, I like your wording. I know it's not going to be gentle. <laughs> it will be gentle. I know it will yeah. be manipulated. Yeah. Andrea was planning on flying home to New York tomorrow. I want you to breathe on that as hard as you can, OK? If this doesn't work, she may be forced to stay in Australia for surgery. I was holding just behind her hip and he rolled up. And I felt this shock and it was like almost threw up. It feels oh, 
It was heavy. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Very, not only could I hear it clunk, but I felt it right through her body. It was a real jolt, and I was like, wow. Her pain is gone. It's all done, OK? It's but Andrea is still feeling the effects of the green whistle. Well done. Big smile. She was off her head. It was so funny to watch. Like, feel better? I do. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't around, around really haughty uh, Australian men who are like, oh, <laughs> yeah, how you doing? And I'm like, yeah. She's definitely under the spell of the green whistle. I think it's the paramedics because she didn't say that before. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, I thought Singos was going on a date for sure after that. He put in the hard yards. She had quite a bit of attitude, but in a good way. I'm a, like such a troubled American. <laughs> <laughs> You're an entertaining American, I don't know that much. <laughs> I would say quite a bit of fun uh, to work with. Where's my pen? Oh, pen. Oh, your whistle. <laughs> there you go. A green Thank pen. you. <laughs> Andrea plans on flying home to New York tomorrow, but will need more tests before she gets the all clear. Hi. You know, I just sold it to her as a positive. Like, you know, you might get two weeks extra in a country that's not so bad in a beautiful environment with amazing lifeguards. Because I don't want to make it any worse. Okay. Oh. I think that just numb it up a bit so the pain, or I can give you pain relief. Uh, can you have both? Martine, a Bondi local, was surfing when things went a little pear-shaped. She showed me her thumb and I was like, oh, it looked, it looked disgusting. And I was like, oh, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, just wait for the paramedics to come. Because like, if it is a dislocated one, they'll just put it straight back in for you. But... I reckon it's dislocated. Do you want to put it back in? Martine attempts some surgery herself. Yeah. Oh, don't do that. You're <laughs> That was most, probably the worst thing you could have done. Don't do that. <laughs> just leave it like that there and just keep sucking on that whistle. The green whistle contains methoxyflurane, which relieves pain and can also deliver a feeling of euphoria. <laughs> What's your thumb? What's your thumb? Hey, we're worried about your thumb. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, the green whistle had a... A pretty funny effect on her. Um, I went from about a two before she had the whistle to about a ten by the end of it. <laughs> the extended care paramedic arrives to relocate Martine's thumb. Happened. Unfortunately, it didn't go back in, so she had to go to hospital. <laughs> the car ride would have been funny for the Ambo driver, I tell you that. You know why? <laughs> she was a character. Martine was taken to Prince of Wales Hospital. After undergoing surgery to reset her thumb, she was discharged five hours later. Ollie was surfing when he dislocated his shoulder. Maxi prepares methoxyflurane, an analgesic gas. Have you ever had one of these before? No, what no. is this? It's a pain relief. Yeah. So it uh, helps settle the pain. Oh, Went over that wave and it just it just popped down. I knew it as I was coming down. I was like, oh, f this. And then got up. I was trying to pop it in myself for quite some time, but it just wasn't going in. It really hurts. Like, it, the, the intensity of the pain just builds up and up. You now we gave him a few green whistles and he was bit off his head for a little while. You right? This is good. This stuff is <laughs> sick. This is ridiculous. Tell the ambulance people to take their time. Just <laughs> tell them to take their time. This is fine for now. Yeah. <laughs> Ordinarily, Dislocated shoulders are treated in hospital. Hang in there. Today, though, Jill, an extended care paramedic, has come to put Ollie's shoulder back in place at the tower. There's a couple of techniques that we use, and a lot of time, it, the pain is so great. The muscle, your muscles get so tense, and that's and that's what you're fighting against. And you need him to relax and work with you and trust you. Ollie is administered with morphine in preparation for the procedure. I've got a rush to the head now, yeah. so it's going to be like a double rush to the head after this. Having the dislocation specialist come to our doorstep, is it's, it's a pretty unique thing. I've only seen it a few times, and 
just watching him do it, it's it's pretty cool. You get another sort of aspect of how highly trained these people are and how good they are at their job. And this hand's gonna come off of my left shoulder. Oh, oh that's right. slightly painful. <laughs> oh, naughty. Leslie, do you have a spare cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is that there was no one in the room called Leslie and he doesn't even smoke cigarettes, so he was out there. <laughs> I've seen the Ambos take about five or six times to get an ink, but look, they have to be very patient to do that job. Let me take the weight of your left arm here. I'll set it to try and get him out. Even though Ollie has been given morphine, and methoxyfluorane, the pain will be unbearable if something goes wrong. Oh, Being a lifeguard, I want to learn as much as I can, so I kind of try and stick around and watch them. Soon, Ollie's painkillers will wear off. Jill makes her final attempt. You could see in his face that it went back in and that he was out of pain. Well done, mate. Well done. It wasn't a real kind of thing. It just went in real subtly. It just sort of slipped back in. That looks a better-looking shoulder. As the painkillers wear off, Ollie learns about some of his strange mutterings whilst under the influence of the green whistle. He was a bit shocked when we asked him, you know, who was Leslie and why did he want a cigarette? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I said this? Leslie, do you have a spare cigarette? <laughs> I was meant to meet someone today called Leslie, but I didn't even smoke. <laughs> so, uh, half, half of it was right, but the rest was just crazy. God love the green whistle and God love the morphine. <laughs> All right, see you later. He's back in one piece, but it'll be a few weeks out of the surf for Ollie. We got a knock at the door and. Uh... I got presented with a patient holding his shoulder, as we so often do in summer with dislocated shoulders. And, and this guy was in real visible pain, and I could see it on his face. He was really distressed. Yeah, I'm just going to give this guy some methoxy and wait for an ambulance to arrive. <laughs> One wrong move in the surf was all it took. Mate, just um, sit yourself up. I'm going to get you some pain relief as soon as possible. You had any alcohol today? No, uh, no, no. OK, good. The green whistle contains analgesic gas. It's famous for taking patients to a much happier place. Today, however, Thomas is having trouble inhaling the gas as he doesn't like the taste. It's quite an acrid, unpleasant taste, and I think he was, you know, quite sort of reluctant to sort of draw it in properly. It's all right, just keep breathing in, mate. This is, this is, should be starting. Do you feel anything at all? Do you feel a bit sort of like, no, no pain relief at all? The green whistle normally takes effect in as little as 30 seconds. After resisting it for 20 minutes, Thomas is close to tears. I feel sorry for this man, you know, like we're doing pain relief, but it's not really working at the moment, so. A specialist paramedic arrives. There's not getting much pain relief from the methoxyfluorine, which is. They did a quick assessment, and their specialty is to try and put the shoulder back into place, so they uh, set about doing that. Just use the gas, keep using the gas. If Thomas doesn't fully inhale the gas, the relocation of his shoulder will be excruciating. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, shy. Okay, and just relax. <sighs> Sit back into the chair. It's nearly there. That's it. Oh. Don't move yet. Finally, Thomas gives in to the green whistle. Okay, so like it's in. And then as soon as they put the shoulder back in place, this guy just lit up. It was like, you know, the, the instant relief. There we go. How's that? That hurt? Yeah. Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. 